Hello and welcome all. In case you're wondering what has to be done after the installation of BigFix Inventory, here is all you need to perform to get data into BigFix Inventory. So let's start. These, two, these are the steps to be followed. Activation of analysis, installation of scanner, software catalog, setup software scans, upload software scan results. Coming to the activation of analysis. These, are, these analysis are required to discover installed software and must be activated all the time. You can go to the path mentioned on the screen, you can select the analysis and click on activate to activate this analysis. Let's proceed to installation of scanner. Scanner is a piece of uh, software that, it, that will be sitting on top of your BigFix client, which enables to perform scans to gather software and hardware inventory. So you can select the uh, Fixlet, install or upgrade scanner. And you can click on take action and select the computers on which you want to install it. Coming to the software catalog, software catalog contains signatures for a range of software to identify the installed applications in your infrastructure. Software catalog is automatically updated during every upgrade of your BigFix inventory. However, you can manually update it whenever there is a new content release or for troubleshooting purposes. And also, please note this will update only the non IBM part of uh, the software catalog. To update the IBM part, you have to upgrade your BigFix inventory to the latest version. Okay, let's discuss about uh, setting up uh, software scans. Software scan collects information about the executable files, packages, and suite tags available on your machines to discover uh, which software is installed. So the default schedule is uh, weekly. So we can do it uh, using the fixlet uh, that is initiate software scan, and you have uh, subtypes of scans uh, you can see on the screen, and you can uh, select. Uh, uh, the type of uh, the types uh, based on your uh, requirement. This fixlet also provides us with the additional scan capabilities that are listed here. Uh, you can you can choose uh, again based on your requirement. Uh, for example, if you are running a software scan on uh, some of your critical servers and you don't want scan process to be taking uh, more CPU, so you can uh, specify a threshold here. And also please note, so the value should, will be uh, fluctuating around the uh, specified CPU threshold here. So this is the behavior. So as we discussed, uh, so the scan is uh, weekly. This is the default behavior. Again, you can uh, customize it based on your requirement. Okay, once the software scan is completed, uh, the results of the software scans will be stored on the base client itself. So this must be uploaded to the big fix uh, server. So to do that, we have to use this fixlet, upload software scan results to upload the software scan results from base client to the base root server. Now let's discuss the last uh, step which needs to be performed. That is, we have to do that in BigFix Inventory. To do that, log into BigFix Inventory, go to Management and Data Imports. So here you'll see a page so where you can perform a data import. So you can schedule a data import uh, as you uh, see here, and also you can run a manual import by, click, by clicking on the Import Now button. So once your import is completed, so there you go, you have all the information uh, available in BigFix Inventory. Let's see some sample reports from BigFix Inventory. So this is the report uh, for software classification. You can navigate to this report easily by logging into BigFix Inventory, go to reports and selecting on software classification. So then uh, you'll see the package data. So this report will help you to understand what all the packages available in your infrastructure. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.